Well, you like well, you don't mind going on stage and getting into a heckler, right? Um, you know, some of Tro- Troy's biggest clips on YouTube and stuff, it's him dealing with hecklers, right? And I was gonna ask you, like, what out of all out of all those videos, which is so many great ones, there's the lady who th- who right away is like, "You're racist," and you're like, yeah. "I'm black, <laughs> I'm half black." Like, what are you talking about? Yeah. And out of all of those clips, like, what was what was one where you felt like, "Fuck, this could have gone bad," or was there out of like, was there one where you were like, "Fuck," like that was there's- kind of. Shit. There's times where I look back because like there was a lot of anger in some of those clips, like, and the the anger comes from. I, I mean, some of your f- funniest things where you just go, "Shut the fuck up!" I know that's the thing, and yeah. I look back at that and I kind of wince a little bit. Yeah. There was one where like, I just this woman wouldn't. She was so drunk and she would not shut up, and I told her to shut the fuck up so many times that I broke the mic stand. Oh, really? And then like I could oh, feel yes, the steam yes, yes. coming off my head, yeah. and like everyone was laughing. And the clip did really well on the internet, but like you watch it back and it's just like, oh man, that's what you'd look like. As opposed to the other one where that woman called me racist, uh, that one ended up doing well because you could scream, shut, it's like a musket, shut the fuck up. Yeah. You can scream that at someone one time. If it doesn't work after that one time yeah. and they keep talking, you can't keep saying it. So that video with the woman where I, I called her Kamala Harris, she just kept, she was drunk and loud and I was funnier then she was drunk, and yeah. she was pretty drunk. Have and you ever seen it, Shannon? Mm-hmm. It was just de-escalation for like two minutes, where yeah. I'm just trying to just get her to be like, "Hey, what are you mad at? What are you?" Because like I could tell there was a disconnect there that she wasn't even understanding. I was doing ten minutes about dog jokes, yeah. And she called me racist. I think you just started doing like a Trump. I said like I was the most pro anti Trump comic there is out like, there. That I was gonna do, it. and racist. then she lost it. Yeah. Um. And then that sort of. But Broadway's the war zone, man. I don't care what anybody says. That's, he, that's where it's like. I came up. We'll I make was, or break you. I was talking to Marcel. Oh yeah, this is where it was. This is a show. Um, yeah, we're just this woman. Uh, this was a late night show at Broadway. I didn't even know I was recording. I think like around like four minutes in is when she starts going at it. I included this context. Be- oh yeah, it's right before this. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. This is where she's. Oh, I, th- that's when I called her Kamala Harris and kicked her out, and she walked perfectly. I need you guys on my side. <laughs> No, I, I, I got like four more in the chamber. No, come on, Harry! Is that the bodyguard? That's the security, yeah. Yeah. And there's the manager right there. I like Kamala Harris don't, joke really broke her. <laughs> she had one single tear come out of her eye, like those Native American literary commercials in the nineties. And like I didn't even know I was recording. And then I left this feeling so mad. I was so mad. And it ended up being the best thing this for my career. This was the big this was this was a dude, big one. I had three videos blow up last year. I feel like you can probably stop it because he can't hear it, so he's talking over it. So oh, I am. He's gonna keep, yeah, it's okay. Oh, it's Go ahead. It's okay. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Um yeah, no, that was I had three. I had the Seinfeld video blow up last year, and then I had um, or a couple of them, and then I had one where uh, uh where I was talking to some these two kids in the audience yeah. who were really funny, and then that one. Um, but I think the reason why people connected with that one is because, well, I felt bad for that woman because her it ended up on like the front page of Reddit, and then it was on like the public freakout subreddit, yeah. and then Tucker Carlson used it in his wow. documentary, fucking stole it from me, um, and now he didn't have a job. That chinless piece of shit. Um, <laughs> No, he works on Twitter now, so you know he's really ranking it in. But that's where his fan base is, you know, those blue check mark incels, who I'm sure a lot of them are very nice people and subscribe to this show. <laughs> who um, sent me Magic the Gathering <laughs> cards last month, so please yes. be nice. <laughs> um, I'm an incel, but I don't have a blue check mark. Yes. Yeah, I, I don't want to I don't want to pay for it. Yeah, that's the thing. It's just uh, it's there's there's I, it's I mean the combination fine, of like, those two things. <laughs> yeah, and like I got my blue check mark on Instagram right before you were able to start paying for it. And I was so <laughs> mad because like they, were, they my agency got it because there's all these accounts that were trying to pretend to be me. And like you have all these celebrity ones where like, hey, it's me, Paul Rudd. This is my other account. Yeah. Can you please send me five hundred dollars? And like yeah. people were doing that on my behalf. And because it's me, they're like, oh, Troy really needs. <laughs> Troy Troy Troy's like, down in a hole again. <laughs> he, owes, he owes Figs 500 bucks. He owes Figs 500 <laughs> big ones. Yeah. Figs have been charging interest this whole time. You didn't know. I'm it's, hit with the Vig. It's me the whole time. Hey, it's me, Troy. Hey, Kamala. I need $250 right now. <laughs>